Christmas one time by my mother. Show up guys letter and sealed. Return to her room. Four points. Talent locked, sober. You can't get all of them. You can only you can only do one or the other. All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. So it's, I can either, I can either go down the Washington path or do the, uh, the other path. I can't do both. They're now science, occultism, and stuff for zero points to use them. Didn't equip the book? What do you mean equip the book? It does it automatically right there. Writing material. Used to write with. Hmm. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Hmm. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. I hate when a man doesn't touch. Sucks. Actually, this is a different... This room looks unoccupied. Can I go in there? Maybe later? I get all the circle. Th it's hard to see the circle things during the day. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for lemons. the local climate. Wait a minute! Life just gave me lemons. I need to make lemonade, right? I need a telescope. If I can find a telescope, I can look out there. Look around some more. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all, all ye who, who enter, enter here. here. Look, markings on the floor. <gasps> Just a bit worn out. Secret passage. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. It could be a secret passage, though. Oh. This bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? She would. Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Think, 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 think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, 
How do I reveal the message? Black powder. The black powder we found earlier. Or that works too. Assess the value of the ash. Now take it. Why I would have to waste points on that. Hmm. What is the value of this burnt log? Oh, let me let me think about that. Oh. Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice strong coffee though. Oh, that sounds good. Nice Madrinus coffee. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before what the fuck? Voices. Oh. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Saturn devouring his son. Again? Oh. I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Uh. Oh, what's that? Level, I need one agility to reach it. I have to spend two points to get a point in it. Well, I know that that's there. I just gotta get two points of agility. But I need two points to buy it to have enough points to do it. Spread ashes. Damn, I'm making a serious mess here. It's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no, there's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Well, let's go back over here. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. Okay. So that's a no. Nothing. Assess the value of the candlestick. If a message is written in lemon juice, the flame will reveal it. Take it! reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Great. I hope it wasn't a unique addition or mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. God, did it crash? Ah, oh, damn. All these bugs. I think someone hacked the game or something. Uh, 
All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. <laughs> It's so close to the beginning of the chapter, it's fine. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way around. I just realized that these cost zero. It says difficulty two, reduced world. by three. So the it's travel cost log nothing. of the explorer Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence! And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? It's a cheap move. You should accept it. living with your failures. The game design this way. This is 2018. People Mother, don't live with their choices in undoubtedly games. Must you keep resetting until you get book. it right. There's too many Let's see games if I can down. Find anything else in this room. I'm not replaying this ever again. I want to get it right the first time. I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. With the number of games coming out nowadays, no one's replaying this more Look, than once. Markings on the floor. Uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. I think these are... Why is that not highlight highlightable anymore? Hmm, nothing here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Da, 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 da. Writing material. Is it, though? Cheater of Kavach. I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. I must have not examined something. Look, markings on the floor. Uh, must be that. Just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Check outside again. Might be a lemon tree. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Hmm. That was the clue. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She, she must lemons. have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. Let's smear ashes on the page. What the if she page. used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Let's let's grab some ashes and just throw it all over there. I'm sure that'll work. Apart from getting the book dirty, I can't see any use for this. Oh, so don't rub smear ashes all over the page. Okay. I don't see how it's technically possible for New one type of ink to thank reveal you for another. Sub on Twitch Prime. It doesn't make sense. What about if we had like a candle or something? If a message is written in lemon juice, the flame will reveal it. Let's let's try the candlestick. Maybe that'll work. Aha! It's working! 
the heat reveals the message. Yay! Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by, by the, the Gorgon. Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Best protected soldier. You've gone to so much trouble. You must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in Zeus. great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Wow, that was impressive. I got that first try. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Dinner for breakfast? Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Are they having dinner for breakfast? I don't... Look. Markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Another red salon on the first floor. I think I got all the clues here. Saint Francis of Assisi and Exus, Saturn devouring his son, Saint Jerome, and Judith beheading Holofernes, the conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. Any other it's incredible. upward? It doesn't things? look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Looks like they uh, they're hiding things up as well as down. So I gotta keep looking up. Make sure they're missing things. The incredulity of Saint Thomas. Why is Caravaggio represented Saint Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Are you allowed to have breakfast for dinner? That seems so weird. They have dinner three times a day? Wait a minute, so... Was dinner what they used to call every meal? So every meal would be dinner? Even though it was... get a chance I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests yes you should Monseigneur his eminence Cardinal Piaggi Cardinal Piaggi I want a I want a all-you-can-eat breakfast dessert buffet like that's awesome I would get up at like 3 in the morning go out get me some apple tart and just eat it and just be like yeah it's like a free continental breakfast at a hotel, but I'd actually make it there. President George Washington. I don't think he's suspicious. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. I wonder if I can explore all of them or not. I might only get to explore one. Let's try, let's try her room first. Cause she's suspicious. For God's sakes, what happened in here? What the fuck? Uh, what the hell? A chest with a half circle pattern. Unlock it. I have the power. It's like amber. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Analyze it. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth 
prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? She's immune to manipulation. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That's the exact same line. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. <gasps> Ooh. Good to know. We got information on her. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. A uh, non-working mirror. Let's see what's over here. Any clues? Another devil storm. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. These are magnesium crystals, a fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. Uh, consume them? Well, sure. See what it tastes like. Ugh. I really need to stop tasting everything I find now. Well, it's it's helping my anxiety, or not. Why is that a bad thing? Great, honey. <laughs> well, that's magnesium. Let me just go ahead and eat that right now. Um, more of that. Just like another a book. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. She's immune to psychology. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? <coughs> I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again. At long last, right soon, your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. Random? August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Okay. How in the world did she mess up the room so badly? And how did no one hear, like, everything getting thrown all about the place? Like, this is some crazy messed up. A five circles shaped key. 30 November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was 
for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Enclosed talisman. What is the negative perk I have right now? One point manipulation, psychology. Uh, occult class skills cost less to acquire. One point manipulation. One point in occultism. Conviction costs one more effort point. Do not step in to defend uh, Adams. Uh, you return his letter intact. One point etiquette. Oh, looks like the last one of there is locked. We'll take that away. There. Okay, let me look around one last time for shinies. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Her room is thoroughly, thoroughly trashed, though. Like, holy crap. I got all the stuff that there is to get now. Alright, let's go check out Washington's room, which is next door. Let no one disturb me, I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. Fine. He's in there, um, working. Just working, you know, on stuff. Huh, that's me. He's just making some royal jelly in there. Duke Manuel Godoy. Might be better to take a different stairway. Mm -hmm. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. I shouldn't have put him on about. I don't know if I want to go with there. Sir Jacques Peru. Sir Jacques Peru. Take a look around. Hopefully, it's fine. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? Another agility thing. I need more agility, damn it. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet, an it's a beautiful weapon. Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with. Whoops. Initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. He's immunity to conviction. That's locked. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. I never know. He's immune to politics. Another double storm. I see a hat here. Buy corn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Well, duh, he is a French dear soldier. Son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powelli continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding 
and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Poop in his hat? <laughs> no. That would be rude. That'd be really mean. Another coin. <laughs> Amber! Maximum effort point increased by one. Amber. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. All right. My dear Napoleon, <gasps> as previously Napoleon. agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Person Getterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. Anything behind the curtain? I would hide something there. Nope. I think we have found all the clues in this room. Maybe. Possibly. I think we got all the stuff. I really need agility. That point... That's one thing I'm missing. Some things I can grab that require agility. Can't go in that room. Let's see if there's any other rooms I can go into. There's running lots of cool intel on the uh, dudes. There's stairs that are go up over here. Not interactable. Can't go in that room. Can't go in that room. Monsieur Johann von Wulner. I think we got all the rooms if this is back to the original. Uh, we're hearing the guy reading in his own, in his mind. He's reading aloud inside his head. Can't go down those stairs. Yeah, lots of these old palaces and mansions have so many chairs that no one ever sits into, sits in, ever. I think we went into all the rooms that I can. I don't, didn't see any other doors. Okay, went in there, went in there. Can't go in there. Judge Emily Hillsborough. Can't go in Emily's room. Duke Manuel Godoy. In the Duke's room. I think I went into all the rooms that I can right now. There's just the two. I can't Might go down. Be better to take a different stairway. Where are the other stairs to go down? Oh, the one over here. All right, let's go to dinner for breakfast, apparently. I didn't... Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? 
No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about just... Hold on. Vulnerability to questioning, immune to psychology, immune to manipulation. Peru. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? <gasps> Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. If I understand rightly, you share a common past? Are you saying I've made it all up? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? There's no way my mother just did that to you out of spite. However horrible the things she did were, I've, I've got to believe she did it in your best interest. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Yes! Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Go back upstairs, look at the rooms. Hi there. What can I do for you, sir? 
I am at your service day and night, sir. Hmm. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, please sir. Please give me the but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps sir would like to know something else? Yes, what can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing, on the second floor, are his private chambers. In the east wing, are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? He's so helpful. I can't tell you anything. Why don't you tell me what you can tell me? What's on the first floor? The first floor is reserved for guests, sir. That is where sir will find his private rooms. The what? main corridor sir, leads sir. around sir, sir, the sir, building. Sir. Three stairways will enable sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, sir? What is the point of that mask? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir uh, another question? Right, is this a real mask, or is this made up just for the game? What is outside on the island, exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise, sir, to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Uh, um... My good fellow, would you have any amber available? Alert! I would. But, unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Um... No, it There's isn't. There's no point in lying, you know. I know full well you haven't got any. I would never think of lying, sir. I don't believe I am authorized to give it away, that is all. Amber? Here? I'd be surprised. Yet, I assure you, sir... No, you're pulling my leg. I don't believe you. I wouldn't dare to joke with, sir. Yeah, sure. You're just leading me on. I dare you to show it to me, if you really have some. Well, then, sir, here is a piece. Ah, right. Well, I'm impressed. Can you lend it to me for a minute? Of course, sir. Here. Wow. I can hardly believe it. 
Well, I have other questions. Of course, sir. Got him. Sir, I believe you haven't given me back the amber, sir. What? What amber? <laughs> the piece I gave to sir. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You really ought to look after your things. It can't be easy to come across amber in these parts. <laughs> ah, um, well, does sir desire anything else? <laughs> God, uh... A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat is brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank Just you. Vulnerable oh, to and, science. And the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, will get well again quickly. <laughs> anything else, sir? Boom, boom, boom. I still haven't quite recovered after the boat crossing. Would you have any Maltese cross, by any chance, please? Aye. I am sorry, sir, but the Maltese cross may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Uh, vulnerability? It would cost me two. You see, Tribulus cystoides is from the Zygophilaceae family very rich in nitrates and potassium chloride. It was used in India 700 years before Christ, my good fellow. And I know nothing better to perk you up. Oh, as sir wishes. Here is the herb, sir. May I help you in anything else, sir? <laughs> Let me use one. You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. But... I... I'm full of science. My good fellow, you're right. One should never mix treatments without the advice of an expert. It so happens that I usually make my own golden elixir, but I haven't brought my kit with me. Perhaps, in that case, would you fetch a spoonful of ethyl alcohol, ethereal oil, and 10 milliliters of ethanol for me? Along with that, a small quantity of gold, please. Just a few crumbs will suffice. Ah, I see that Sir knows his subject. Therefore, I see no reason why I shouldn't give them to you. I hope that will be enough for you, Sir, because I haven't any more. Thank you. That will be fine. May I help with anything else, sir? Uh, thank you. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. I and want it. I am not hiding it. Give it to me. Hand it to me, please. Now. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend, sir, a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Give it to me now. Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? <laughs> it's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. <laughs> With all it's mine. respect, sir, I hope sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. It's mine. Huh. There you are, then. That's exactly where I left it. <laughs> I am quite put out, sir. I don't know what to say. In that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. <laughs> but I... Now. But, sir, I... Very well, sir. Here you are. May sir take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Well, bravo. Bravo. No, no, I didn't do anything. I'm gonna need some money. It wasn't me, sir. Give me some Save money. Pardon. pardon me, sir. Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. <laughs> God, his, I robbed him blind. Jesus, I took everything he had. He had so much stuff, and I took every, <laughs> took his book, took his chemicals, took his medicine. Can 
Can I go back upstairs and look, just peek around the rooms? No. Ooh, what's this doorway? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. God, this artwork is crazy everywhere. I think we have to go in there. Dinner party. Friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. <laughs> Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing it? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? How was the crossing? <laughs> Who does not oh, know? Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the King's table. I am delighted. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. <laughs> Very funny, sir. Of course. Not at all. Got him! Woo! Surprising when you know Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Qua Order, former Freemason, and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. That's right. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. That looks so if good. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Be there. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. <laughs> but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Yeah, touch him. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mentioning that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Prussia. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt in all its forms. Mm. Please feel at home. <laughs> Napoleon looks stoned. Have you any information <laughs> on this Napoleon? 
Lord Mortimer has invited Napoleon along to negotiate an important commercial venture. Nothing strange about that. And the Golden Order is somehow involved. What? Our order? Are you sure? That's what I read in the letter from Mortimer to Napoleon. Hmm. This information is important. Thank you, Louis. You're welcome, Washington. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> Are you gonna invade me? <laughs> Show us your routine. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, doesn't look safe. who your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Uh oh. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000. Hold on. Subscriber. Thank you for subbing. Dollar up with Twitch Prime. Uh, Napoleon. Immunity to conviction, immunity to politics. I don't know anything else. I don't know. Louis d'Or for 200 oh. cannon. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. <laughs> Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur Got de it. I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, Thanks. I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. Thanks for the book. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. 
So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Found your mother's message. That's just the whole message. Man's paid Elizabeth. Met the guests during dinner. Proved to pull in my mother's worthy sister. Search the loser. <gasps> I didn't fail anything. It was a perfect day. Might as well unlock etiquette and unlock agility. I freaking need that. I still have five points left. Unlock that. Requires a lot of points to level some of these things up. Every day is a perfect day when we're watching Dan's gaming. Well, thank you, Newstad. How does my butt smell? <laughs> Logic. I have to spend the point somewhere. He's kissing my butt. Uh, 11 points before level three. Go with one point in vigilant. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. All right, etiquette, etiquette. Fiction, manipulation, politics, psychology, etiquette. Let me see. Character, vigilance. Uh. What do I want? One skill point etiquette, one etiquette, one in politics, one in psychology. for psychology. Or I could go for manipulation, which is good. I need 11 freaking points for that. Is dank memes a skill? I don't think so. Alright, 
Well, let's look for stuff. A Chinese coin. coin. Got to be more stuff out here. So do we have... Why do they serve dinner for breakfast? That just seems so weird. Like, it wasn't even breakfast food. It was dinner food. They had, like, roast duck and stuff. Hi there. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But. I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. Why it is, is he difficult. hiding? That's weird. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand. But continue to have faith in Santa. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days, we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Um, looking for Medusa. If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then, I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, your minutes. See you later, my son. No, Chad, it's not a strip club. God. I mean, technically that would work, but no. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Circe preparing wine. There are butterflies discourse everywhere. on the method. By Descartes. Another book. This book changed book. the way I looked at the world. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Mm -hmm. Ulysses and Circe at the table. No, Medusa's not you, a stripper. Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. What, is that a lockbox? The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. I could probably pick the lock. Yep, free lock. Three, four, or something. Oh, it's all royal jelly. It's like a whole stash of it. Take one. I'll use one to fill me up a little bit. Unlock. Amber crystals. Another amber. Perfect. 
I like how this game has way more gameplay than Telltale games. Whoa. Holy. What the hell? Holy shit. Are you kidding me right now? That How could someone have that many bucks? Holy crap. Uh, golden elixir. That is so many freaking bucks. Atreus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Wait. Actually, I can't get back into my room. I can use my agility, though, to grab something back this way. If I can get back upstairs. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. I can't be here. Looks like I can't go in there. Never mind. This is like a room full of secrets. A Chinese coin. Zeus! I come for you! Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Unlock it, baby. Four things of that. Another one of those. The items are everywhere in this game. Consumables. Grab it. Amber crystals. Grab that one. Amber. <laughs> amber. Yeah. Grabbing that amber. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Done with this room? I don't see anything else. Wait, can you help me with the. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I already robbed you blind. I think I'm done with you. There's shootings at YouTube headquarters. God. That sucks. All right, well, we got all our stuff. All right, let's look around some more. The Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. More of that. I have. They're giving me so much jelly. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Does that mean I have the whole thing now? We're all eyes. 
guys size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? This music is nice. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Celia. That name means nothing to me. Uh, golden elixir. Jesus Christ! Coin there. A Greek drachma. One of the meaning between Louis Cator's and both in the Bible sink. and Amber Crystals. Amber the Crystal. Company by Rembrandt. Nothing there. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. That's a Poor big Phaeton, horse ass. Struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral Amber Crystal. Don't steal Dad's chariot. Song it's good advice. Old. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. God, this must be the most expensive art collection for a private house. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Jesus. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, get up. Another coin. Anything else in the middle before we go? Check this side as well. Ah, paint liberty or death by Regnault. Well, I'll take liberty, please. But I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I see? Yeah, I saw. God, I feel bad for Spartans. Jesus. Holy crap. Thorn. I'll keep it. There's Medusa. Hmm. A painting with no name. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the the thing said something about pointing to the person with the least protection. I think. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. In Greek mythology, anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who can protect their eyes. It can only be the hero holding the shield. Yeah, I knew that. Holding the shield. Let's think. 
To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? <laughs> Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Handle the mechanism. I mean, it's free, might as well. Hmm, the mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Just like the other option said. Rotate to the sword. And you rotate to the shield. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. And then, what about you, though? Rotate to the Medusa. Secret passage. Bruh! For Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do Emily. that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. Uh... You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Lockbox. Yeah, I found an amazing ring. And there's an inscription engraved on it. You're married. Why don't you wear a wedding ring? You mean wear something just to prove your love? Not my style. She's married, though?
The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. I'm gonna open it. All right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. <laughs> you mean someone pooped in there? Aw, oh, come on. I don't want to know that. Uh. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Another coin. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The gospel according to Judas, or how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. <laughs> you do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry Isn't up. That enough? Didn't he use that? God of uh, Kratos used that. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No, you are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Talk about a pair. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Your mama. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. <gasps> the workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. Such a weird conversation happening in this room. What the hell is that statue? Well, oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Ooh, weapon! You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. 
I'm busy. Describe it to me. Um. Brass quillins and knobs. A beautiful cruciform line. Judging by the wear and the technique used to forge it, this sword dates back to the Crusades. Excalibur. And it must have belonged to a wealthy knight. There's a date. MCXC. 1190. That's right. Forge for the Crusades. Uh... I think this is Excalibur. King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I see some amber. A fragment of amber. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. <laughs> Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Uh... Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe we'll find something. All right, I'll keep looking. Mortimer is Kratos. This is the sequel to God of War. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Mm -hmm. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Uh-oh. She's weak to psychology. That, that would cost me two. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you Preferably. talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Yeah! Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. I'm documenting and them. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! Huh. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Yep. 
Difficulty five. Oh god. Let's see. Emily. Vulnerability to psychology, immunity to logic. That's really difficult, though. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, Just you don't use logic right. on me. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. What? I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... sister she's your partner she's the one you're looking for well i am impressed yes. how the devil did you guess i had a sister virtually no one even knows when it comes to getting results you are very good i grant you that you deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly i thought it belonged to emma my twin sister oh now i get why you said you had a memory for two yes you can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one. Then for the other, we dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. Hmm. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay New subscriber. very dearly. Don't worry. Thank you for subbing, Green Vaughn. with me. And dollar up one. It's Thank time you for to subbing. leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? Investigation. You can equip one extra manuscript. <gasps> Mate, it has been Ooh. fun by your side. Same here. Oh, 
she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll Put be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Ah, shit. Do I want more clues or do I want the poison? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. They're making me choose between breasts and quests. I don't like it. Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. Took a minute. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The truth is, I really don't have the slightest idea, but I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead, <laughs> ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to oh, meet someone. Damn. But I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. I only have one option. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries, Al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice at all. And you? What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Yep. Yep. Gotta advance the plot here. Gotta... Gotta make sure we get the plot going and get it nice and worked out. Get all the little details and the nips and... I have to go, Louie. I don't want anyone finding me here in the oh, morning. Oh, come on. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Ah, oh, come on. What is this, PG? <laughs> Unlock Libertine. You gain one point in diversion. Which is which? Lord Mortimer? <laughs>
Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. And end chapter. Four points available. Psychology came in handy a lot there. Let's see. Science, ling linguistics, radiation. Council, Big Bad Wolf Game. End of episode one. Da, da, da. It's best to give get them all to level all to level two, that way you can they're all nearly free if you need to use it. Unlocking them is also good, it's in case you use the points. Ugh. That was pretty good. That wasn't that bad. That was pretty good. That's way better than most Telltale games recently. A couple bits of shakiness. You know, the voice acting of the main character was a little... And the voice acting of the mother at the beginning was a little... But overall, it was pretty good. A little interesting story, some interesting mechanics. This was a surprisingly good one. I like it. I just hate that it's episodic, that we have to wait probably a year or more just to finish the game, which kind of sucks. I'm getting tired of the episodic model of games. It's kind of like, eh. Eh. Because what happens is often, uh, like, the next episode will, like, get delayed and then take longer and longer and longer. But yeah, I, I like this game. I can't wait for the other episodes. Um, yeah, I liked it. Again, it's called The Council. I liked it. It had a lot more gameplay than most Telltale games, too. Like, you had to actually look around and think and level up stats and stuff. Well, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for me for today. I have D&D in about an hour. So I got to go eat some lunch. And then when we come back, I'll be playing D&D on JP's channel. I'll be hosting it here if you guys want to watch. Thank you, Green Vine, for that new sub. Thank you, Kate Archie Kraken, Master Zero, Saucy Brotato, Not Leroy, Clundy, Eagle of Death. Thank you all for those subs. You guys are great. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys um, in an hour on JP's channel, and I'll host it here. Uh, thank you guys very much, and love you all, and I'll see you in about an hour on, J on this channel if you come back. If you don't come back, um, there won't be any stream tomorrow. Uh, there'll be sporadic streams the next few days because I'll be at PAX East. I'll stream when I can from the floor of PAX. Uh, when those moments that I can stream. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys for being here. I love you all and I'll see you guys uh, on Monday for sure. But I'll see you sporadically 